Hello everybody, it's Anne from Anne's Stampin' Up. It's another weekly stamping session here in Simcoe, Ontario. I am an independent Stampin' Up demonstrator uh, here in Simcoe, Ontario. And if you don't have your own demonstrator but live in Canada, feel free to shop with me. You can reach me at uh, stampsandtea at gmail.com and my demonstrator website is uh, stampin up, stampsandtea.stampinup.net so welcome everybody we're going to make a quick and simple card today again and uh, we're going to use a set called Easter Friends let me turn the camera down and I'll bring in the catalogue and show you everything we need to make this really simple card and I'll show you the actual card too right so here we are we have the um, uh, January to June mini catalogue this catalogue ends on June the 2nd I believe no, it goes till the 30th of June 2022. So you've still got a bit of time to shop if you want to use shop in this catalogue. The set we've got today is the Easter Friends set. And it's a really pretty little set. It has a nice bunny and a couple of chickens, some grass and some nice sayings. Easter sayings, but also a happy spring saying, which is kind of nice. Um, so we're going to make a quick and simple card today this is it i made this using um uh, a piece of dsp from the friendly hello set which was um a celebration set but it's still lovely paper and it's all nice springy colors so it matches and it goes well with the card we're going to make today so this is the card here um the these chickens are stamped flat this one this one wobbles so he wobbles so let me put that to one side let me put the catalog to one side and we'll get started right away now when i stamped the first card when i stamped the chickens on the first card i used memento black ink and um I stamped it full strength. I'm going to stamp off once this time because I think that's a little bit too dark. Okay. And then we'll compare at the end. So what I have to make this card, I have some Daffodil Delight, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter, and I'm going to use it as a top fold card. I have a scrap to stamp off on. I have a piece of DSP which is five and a quarter by four gives us about an eighth of an inch border all the way around and piece we're going to stamp the chickens on is five by three and three quarters again gives us about an eighth of an inch of a border I've got a spare piece here which is um, just to stamp the chicken that I'm going to cut out to put on on the wobbler so we're going to stamp the grass first now just stick that down there so that I can go off the edge and I'm going to stamp the grass first to give us a, a, a place to whoops to place the chickens when when I'm stamping the chickens and I can stamp this two or three times and I can move it up and move it down to give me more grass if I want to there we just tad there there that's some nice grass clean that up while we've got the um granny apple green open we're going to stamp the sentiment just see yep, i think that's good nice so we'll put the granny apple green away and we'll stamp with the memento now now as i say the memento i am going to stamp off once so i'll just use that as a scrap of card there and that's my piece to stamp my chicken that i'm going to cut out whoops so we've got a a little chicken here first get a good ink stamp it off once and stamp him right at the edge of the card 
there that's nice and it's not too dark you see and I, I think I like that better than the full strength for um, so that when I color you can see my color Let me stamp that out that just stamps a little too heavy there let me try that again don't be so heavy-handed so we want to stamp the first chicken full chicken up against the little one there we'll stamp the next one off the card there and then we're going to stamp the last chicken on a separate piece of card because we're going to cut him out at once there lovely lovely put that away Okay. keep the desk nice and clean now, as I say I've got some nice alcohol markers here most of them I'm using the lighter of the, the two out of each set I've got the, the lighter um, polished pink I've got a light balmy blue I've got a light flirty flamingo all the lighter colours what's this one that's the light fresh freesia and we're just going to colour three chickens now this one here as I say, we're going to colour yellow. You don't need to watch me sit and colour that and cut it out. I will come back and that will be coloured and cut. So we've got this here and we've got, um, let me see, light pumpkin pie for the beaks on the chickens. And we're just going to colour them in carefully. Remember, you can always go over them again and make them a little bit darker if you wish. And I know there's a colour lifter marker, but I'm not honestly sure how well it works for lifting the colour off if you've put too much on. So let's do the beak. There. And then what colour will we have for chickens? How about we'll have a pale pink chicken. This is light polished pink. And I'm going to use the brush tip. Um, because I don't have to be too terribly careful. Because he's a fuzzy chicken. Just going quickly around the outside edges and then I'll fill in the centre. And I do think it's better if you go in circles when you're colouring um, just to overlap your lines so you don't have streaks on your card. Oops, I nearly got him. And as I say, if you've got a spot where you haven't coloured enough, you can go over and make it a little darker. If you need to give some shading, if you don't need the shading, but you just want to even out your colouring, go over it again carefully. Um, let's do the little chicky in yellow. You see this yellow, I'm using Daffodil Delight and I'm using the lighter of the two markers. As I see, you get a light and a dark in each set. Whoops, went over the edge there, but it's okay. There. And 
if you want him darker go over him again and then we need to color for the last little chicken what are we going to do I think we've got fresh freezer let's go fresh freezer yeah we can have a purple chicken quickly around this I'm not really paying attention to detail I'm sort of staying in between the lines but a bit of shading there and the only thing I'm going to do with this little chicken here is I'm going to use the dark um, pumpkin pie marker just to give him a little bit of definition in his beak because the, the, the light was kind of um, the, sorry the stamping was uh, just a little bit off there we'll just give him a bit of definition there so there we have him now the other chicken I coloured in daffodil yellow and I've cut him out and he's going to sit here like this. So let's build the card. He is the last piece that goes on. Let's build the card. And I'll talk to you about these things called wobblers. Action wobbles they're called. Um, I picked them up on uh, Amazon because we don't have any wobbles I don't think in, in the Stampin' Up! catalogue. Uh, there's 48 in a package and I think it cost me about five dollars. So it wasn't expensive at all. Um, and I'm just going to put my DSP down first. And as I see I've got about a, an eighth of an inch or all the way around the edge. got the white piece to go on. Now you can see how the colour comes through to the other side of the card uh, from the alcohol markers. So you, you never want to really colour just on the front of your card because it will come through and show on the inside. So let me put this down about an eighth of an inch again just like that. And then I've got my, my wobbly chicken. As I say, these wobblers are um, this 48 in a package. Paid about $5 for them. They are the cutest things. Let me just seal that up because I did with the bag. So, really, all you do, you're going to get your chicken ready. And you're going to peel off. I don't know that there's a top and a bottom. I don't know that there's any difference. I'm kind of thinking this. Um, I used this for the top on the last one. The, the part that has the hole in. And then this piece sticks to the card itself to hold it down. I'm hoping that's how it works. So I'm going to take the sticky or the, the cover layer. There's my pokey tool take the cover layer off this piece first just see what I'm doing there here it's just a little cover around the circle and I'm going to put this piece on the back of the chicken press it down really firmly and then use the pokey tool again to try and get or to start pieces around and 
there and it really is quite sticky it's 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 got good adhesive on it so now I'm just gonna tighten my cord place my little chicken where I want him and there he goes so there we have two cards that I've made quite quickly uh, I'll turn the camera well let me just show you the two cards side by side first of all um, this one is the one that I stamped off with the memento ink this one I did full strength memento ink and I think it's a little bit too dark I like it lighter so let me turn the camera up so I popped a couple of gems in the whoops in the corner of this one uh, just to make it match this one so there you have two cards my own design uh, feel free to copy and share as always and as always if you do um, make your cards to sell please use the Stampin' Up Angel stamp thanks for watching everybody we'll see you next week bye